Universal motors, widely known as DC motors and brush motors, can run on both alternating and direct current, driving all kinds of machinery. They usually have a stationary field called a stator, which is connected directly to the supply voltage, and a rotor, also called armature, which receives the supply voltage through a commutator, which, as the armature rotates, makes the necessary polarity reversals for the armature to continue turning. To simplify our explanation, let's assume our motor will only run on direct current. First, let's connect the stator to the power supply. For simplicity, we will think of it as a battery. Depending on the winding direction, the stator will become an electromagnet. Suppose that in this case the electromagnet's north pole is up and the south pole is down. As long as it is connected to the power supply, there will be a north pole at the top and a south pole at the bottom. Now, Let's look at the armature in the middle of the magnetic field of the electromagnet. Through the commutator, we connect the armature winding to the power supply. Again, imagine that the direction of the winding is such that in the armature we have a north pole at the top and a south pole at the bottom. The brushes are slightly offset clockwise, so the rejection between the two north poles and the two south poles forces the armature to rotate clockwise. The armature will rotate 180 degrees, trying to keep the north pole facing the south pole and the south pole facing the north pole. With this, two things will happen. Due to the weight of the armature, the inertia will cause the armature to rotate a little bit more than 180 degrees. In addition, the commutator will reverse the connections so the north pole will again appear at the top and the south pole at the bottom. This action is repeated indefinitely while the stator and brushes continue connected to the power source in this case, our battery. To make the armature turn counterclockwise, simply reverse the wires connected to the brushes, or you can also reverse its rotation by reversing the wires that go to the stator. If instead of using a battery, we connect our motor to a source of alternating current, the result will be the same, since what really makes it work is the relative polarity between the magnetic field of the stator and the magnetic field of the rotor of the armature. This is basically the sequence of operation of a brush electric motor, also called a universal motor, since it works both on direct and alternating current. Generally, the most common used motors are the series wound, that is, with the stator and armature connected in series. These are high starting torque motors and are mainly used as a, a starter for internal combustion engines and also in portable drills and appliances such as mixers, blenders, etc. I hope this clip has been useful to you. Thank you very much for your attention and I invite you to subscribe to my channel.